from competition 554 in the morning time to get that last cardio session in let's get it done morning weigh-ins 170 minus about a pound for the camera so this morning's weigh-in 169 Uh, home sweet home, the home gym, the home treadmill, the BCAs, and a hit training session. Last one before the show. Just want to get this hit session done. Go get spray tanned later today. Go to the meeting and get the show on the road. This season's going to be pretty wild, pretty crazy. If I don't do so well the first one, it doesn't matter because I usually end up coming back leaner, bigger, and stronger each show throughout the season. So I need to get this first one done, feel it out, see what the judges are looking for, see what I may need to change on my physique or my posing. As soon as I'm done with the first one, if I place, that's fantastic. If not, use that as a learning experience, start steamrolling for the next two and three, and then hopefully place top in the fourth one. Um, I didn't sign up for the fourth show or the third show yet. The second show is, let's see, what's today? The 16th. Second show is July 1st, so it's already, I'm already three weeks out from that show. Um, so they're like, I don't, no cheat meal after the show, nothing. I take that back. I might have one cheat meal after the show, but it's after that, as soon as Sunday night comes, right back on the diet, right back on the cardio, right back on the workout routine. Nothing's changing. I don't have time, you know, to afford. Can't make any mistakes, but shows back to back. After July, I have a show, I believe August 5th is the next potential one. That one's a national qualifier. Um, hoping to place in one of these first two shows, so going to the national qualifier, I can actually place in that one and hopefully then qualify to get the pro card next year. However, if I win a national qualifier in August, then yeah, I would definitely try a pro show in September. I mean, there's no reason not to. I mean, at least for the experience alone. However, that's not really realistic to assume that I'm just going to win a pro show right after winning a national qualified show. You know, there's steps. As uh, Meek Mill says, there's levels to this shit. So, we got to take it one, one step at a time. So, uh, I'm going to get this cardio session done. So 40 minutes, 
500 calories. Completely covered in sweat. I don't know if I actually burned 500 calories in 40 minutes. Seems a little unrealistic, but for the hit, I was doing eight, uh, 8.5 speed at a 3.5 incline. And then for the low intensity afterwards, which is the next 20 minutes, I did a four incline with a four speed. Um, it's actually kind of intense for low intensity cardio, but it's one day out, so I can't make excuses. Gonna go shower now, start breakfast. Actually, I might, might finish out my homework first and then start breakfast and then uh, got a massage scheduled at nine o'clock. Looking forward to that. Gotta finish out some homework real quick. Yeah, practice of health promotion, disease management, and advanced finances and operational management. Actually, this one has a really long title. Let me read exactly what it, this class is. This class is evidence-based practice in health promotion, disease management, and prevention. So, finishing up my master's degree here in nursing. Only got about eight weeks left of the program. It's the final week of this class, and of course, I had discussion post. For any of you that do have ever done online courses, you know how annoying these are. I'm gonna open it up, read somebody's crap, and then respond to it. So I have to do four of these. Probably gonna take a while, but hopefully I'll knock it out in like an hour or so, so I'm ready for my massage. Because it is currently 7.34. I gotta get this shit done. 8.20, in the car, heading off to get my massage for the day. Now, a lot of people don't understand, but when you actually get a massage, it not only helps relax the muscle, but it's also gonna help kind of detox and get rid of all the lactic acid that's built up in the muscle. Uh, I've been working out consistently for 100 plus days straight, no off days, because you're prepping for competition. So the only problem is, my muscles get really tight when I try and flex, because they 
just been abused for the past couple of months. So the, what the massage is gonna do is really gonna help my muscles relax so when I'm on stage tomorrow, I can hit my poses perfectly uh, without feeling any pain or without cramping up. Now normally, most people try and get their, if, if they get a massage, try and get it you know, 24, 48 hours before because sometimes you actually feel more sore after a massage. However, I ended up working yesterday, ended up teaching a group of doctors and uh, physician assistants. So it was a last minute, picked up, uh, you know, picked up somebody else's time slot. So I actually was scheduled for yesterday morning so I could just rest all day today. But, you know, life happened. So got rescheduled for 9 a.m. this morning. First thing, get it knocked out, get it out of the way. And then just go home, relax. Got all my stupid discussion posts done, so I'm done with that. All I have to do now is just enjoy the rest of the day. We have arrived. Time to get some massage. Got a nice relaxing environment here. Just sitting here, chilling, waiting. My appointment's not for another five minutes, but I'm excited. In the room, feeling good. The final stretch. Finish up this massage and get to it. Just finished up my massage. Feel like a million bucks. After all those toxins are released, gotta chug this entire water. Clean out my system. About to eat this protein bar. Cookies and cream, haven't had it yet, but pretty excited. Then I got three things got to do. I have to go to the uniform store, pick up my jacket for work. I have to go to the bank, get $300 cash for spray tan, and to pay for the actual competition. Uh, Check-ins at five. Then I have to go to Walgreens and get some supplies for tomorrow morning. Three more things to do, and then I'm just taking a nap till five. So I was just informed that uh, my embroidered jacket was messed up because I guess Adam is a hard name to spell. You know, it's four letters and they spelled it with an N. So A-D-A-N is definitely not my name. So now I have to wait another three weeks to get a jacket. And with body fat percentage like this, I guess I'll just freeze at the hospital all day long. Ridiculous. Off to the bank. I get the person in the back seat to come all the way out of the car. If you're gonna make that much effort, just park your car and go inside. Some of us are trying to make this fast and efficient. Oh, two people. We need two people to help.
got to count it real quick. Make sure you got everything that you requested. I have been to one of these machines before and you push 200 and it gives you out 160 or 180, but it charges your account 200. Gotta be careful with that. Now, off to Walgreens we go. Gotta get exfoliating scrub. Clean the body off before the tan. This exfoliating body wash is one of the best I've found. Need this. Tomorrow morning after spray tan, I won't be able to wash my hair or wet it in order to style it. So I need an empty bottle, squirt some water on my hair, and get it styled. Still or purified? I'm gonna go with the purified. Just got out of Walgreens. Got me a gallon of water for tomorrow. Um, I just realized I don't really know the difference between purified water and distilled water. I usually honestly just drink out of the sink. I just fill my water up from the sink, so I don't really notice a difference. This bottle right here, I refill this from the sink probably nine times a day. So, I went with the purified one. Purified sounds better than distilled, I think. I don't know. So, done with all the errands, heading home, gotta eat lunch, and then go and take a nap. Get this day going, get up at like three or four, have to shave the entire body, use this exfoliating scrub, and go get my spray tan. Just finished cooking oatmeal and a turkey burger for tomorrow's competition. Cooking turkey burger right now for lunch. I'm gonna put that on 12 pieces of lettuce, mustard, which is calorie free, zero calorie, zero sugar ketchup, and some pickles in there. And one of these peach nectarine sparkling ice, zero calorie drinks for lunch. Also gonna drink that liter of water. And some bag of pop chips. Last meal, hit that nap, and then going straight to get tanned. Eating a quick snack, one of the small Lenny Larry's cookies. And about to head out, get ready to get tanned up, and get prepared for tomorrow's competition. So I got really hungry. It's not time for me to eat yet, so I went ahead and packed myself another one of these ice, peach nectarine, zero calorie drinks. And I went ahead and filled my two liter up with two scoops of BCAs. I'm gonna go ahead and sip on those. Hopefully it'll satisfy my cravings for the next couple hours. We have arrived. Time to check in. This hotel is huge. Half the people I was walking behind are just completely full of water. Just shoving down Reese's Puffs and shit. Completely not ready for the show at all. So, boosting my confidence a little bit, checking out my conditioning, and seeing all those other people looking so soft before stage when we're only 24 hours out. So, we'll see how it goes. So, got my last real meal of the day. I'm sorry, I didn't think about that. Fish, four ounces of white rice, four ounces of broccoli. Eat this meal. I'm about to get spray tanned in about two minutes and then going home, passing out. I'm gonna wake up at five in the morning, eat my first meal, get that down, do about 15 minutes of cardio, and then uh, go ahead and head on out over here to the show. Mandatory meetings at 7.30 in the morning, so to be here bright and early. So that's what it looks like. Just left the judges meeting. It looks like maybe 10 or 12 people will be in my class. It should be a pretty good competition. We'll see how it goes. Just finished getting tanned. Looking pretty good. I think we're gonna do all right tomorrow. 
Never know till the day of the show, but this is how I'm looking right now. Feeling pretty good. Feel like I'm pretty lean, so. See how it goes. Gotta drive home, jump in bed, get as much sleep as possible, and then uh, wake up at 5 a.m. and uh, get tomorrow started, competition day. Let's go.